Hello. You're about to see a modification I made to this vintage 1965 Westinghouse fixture on my bedroom ceiling. Watch. It's now a hybrid preheat rapid start fixture. When I got it, both halves were rapid start, and they could run 34 or 40 watt tubes. This means that I can only run 40 watt tubes on the preheat side. And let me show you something. This side is the original side. This is how it originally came. The lamp holder is sort of butt mounted to the uh, lamp holder bracket. And you can see the uh, Westinghouse label. This fixture is actually from 1965, although the model number has eroded away. Let me close that up and show you the other side so you can see how we did this to preheat. For one, there is a two lamp preheat ballast in here, a real one. I didn't use a rapid start to do this. And two, there are these special lamp holders that have an integrated starter socket mounted in between them, donated to me by a friend. There's one on here and then the other one's on the other side. It was as simple as drilling a couple of holes in the mounting plate. The two lamp ballast is a Magnatech. The rapid start ballast that's in this fixture now on the other side is a Sola. It originally came with Westinghouse ballasts. I don't know what happened to those. Well, I do. It's just that I don't want to talk about it. I got rid of them because I was too young to know what I had, but they could only run 40s and they had PCBs, so that was my reasons. Which, in retrospect, I should have kept them instead. But, hey, it's too late for that. Now, we can enjoy this as a preheater and a rapid start, so... Why choose one when you can have both? Enjoy.